This bomb behind me perhaps represents the fastest weapon put into service from the time that there was a requirement for it to the time that it was dropped in anger was less than a month. And this bomb is the GBU-28, better known colloquially as the Bunker Buster. During Desert Storm, the Iraqis had placed their command bunkers deep underground and the Air Force found it wasn't able to hit those targets. And so there was an immediate requirement for some kind of bomb that would be able to, to penetrate that far below and destroy these bunkers. And that turned out to be the GBU-28. Now, it didn't exist at the time, and so some very smart engineers started thinking about, we need a hard casing for this bomb. What, what cylindrical and what would have the right material properties for this bomb? And someone realized, Army 8-inch howitzer barrels would be perfect. So Air Force engineers worked with Waterfleet Arsenal. They milled down some obsolete 8-inch artillery barrels, filled them with explosives, and mated them to a laser-guided bomb uh, guidance system. They tested one of those bombs at Eglin a few weeks later. It worked, and within a matter of days, they dropped two of these bombs in Iraq and one of those bombs penetrated deep to an Iraqi command bunker, completely destroying it. And within hours after the dropping of that bomb, the Iraqis surrendered. <laughs>